Hi, my name is Lori Ritchie and I'm welcoming you to Lori's Lift. As always, we will be using my Art Felt Oracle deck, which you can purchase from wholeartsconnection.com. That's W-H-O-L-E artsconnection.com. And I'm using a four inch tile, <clears throat> which you can use, um, I bought these on Amazon um, really inexpensively, but you can also just cut it out of typing paper. Um, and I have a Micron 10, which is kind of a heavier nib today, but you can use any kind of pen and a pencil. I have a graphite pencil and a blending tool. So here we go. We always start with a random draw from my cards to give us a little something to ponder as we create. And I'm going to stop there. Seems like we might have had this one already, but we're going to repeat it. What is happening in your life? Are you paying attention? Not just the gripes and groans, but the ecstatic mountaintops. What is happening in the spaces between? Are you breathing it in? Do you celebrate the slopes? Do you take the more comfortable path? What is happening? Are you paying attention? Do you make note of it? Don't close your eyes. Don't you dare go back to sleep. It's in all these random moments that your life is built. Take notice. Be astonished. Take note. So I, given a phone call that I had earlier um, with someone, I'm going to take this. It's in all these random moments that your life is built. So to start with, just draw a square, and I am leaving my top open to write my comment. That's not quite a square. <laughs> That's why I do it in pencil. I'll make it a little smaller. Okay. Um, there it is right there. All right. So to start this, you are going to make four teardrops. Uh, kind of one here. Kind of in the north, east, south, and west edge of your space. Should all be about the same size, but I'm not quite getting that quite the same. So I love knots or infinity kind of lines where you don't know where it started and where it stopped and so that's what this is. So we are going to take from this corner here we're going to come down almost almost to here but we'll stop and then we'll take a line that goes all the way around here, mirrors that, and stops. I'm going to bring that in closer. So yeah, so we started on this corner and drew a line almost out to, that, to this uh, teardrop down here. And then we drew another line that mirrored that all the way around until it got to the first. 
So then we're going to do the same. We're going to take this corner and we are going to bring it all the way down as if it's meeting that inner line there. So we'll take it all the way over to here. And then we'll make another line as if it's coming out from there. And we're going to mirror it all the way around until it stops. Same thing over here. Bring it to this point. It's really right to the corner. And then all the way around. Whoopsies. <laughs> Until it stops. Right here. And then all the way around. Until it stops. And if we need to connect that line there. There it is. Very cool. I actually like it this way, but this is where it is. All right. So now we make a circle in the center. And we'll just make florals. So when I was talking to this uh, friend of mine about is, you know, especially if you are a visionary, it's often that we have a picture of ourselves, of how we see ourselves, what's possible. And we may get a little frustrated along the way that it doesn't quite look like that yet. And there's a piece of divine um, impatience that we have for the waiting, for all the pieces to line up. But I think that we, what we forget is celebrating all these little moments in between of things that are actually happening now. That because it's not in that big scale, that big scheme that what we're looking for, I'm just gonna color in this whole center, but I think I'm gonna leave a little white area out. Um, because we see the bigger picture, we don't give credit for the everyday um, and the journey that we've already taken. Our life is built in all the random moments in between. So next what I'd like for you to do is make these little half circle bumps. And they'd all be about the same. Have circle bumps. going to draw it all the way out to the corner like a let me just see if we were to make these this big would it be weird
Nope, I don't think so. So for this, for your first add-on, you're going to make this little leaf shape right in the center that goes all the way out to the tip top corner. And then if you like, you can draw lines that come out from there and just round off the top. And I don't know, maybe there's a, maybe a, maybe it's a floral. And I might like to do a little circles in those open parts. Cool beans. Let's do it over here. So we're going to make a big leaf shape out to that corner. And maybe a line and a line and round those out. little beads, little pearls. And then another one. So what is it in your life that you're already doing that is a piece or a part of where you see yourself going? Where can you give yourself some gratitude, some acknowledgement for that piece of it? And it doesn't even have to be a, a business. It could be, you know, a relationship maybe with your husband or your child. Where can you pat yourself on the back today, right now? because it is in these small moments that our life is created. And where we give gratitude just tells the universe, yes, please. I want more of this, please. And just watch where it shows up. I didn't leave myself much room for circles. Oh, well, it's pretty. That's pretty. So maybe I will draw my line just outside here and erase the rest. Cute. So if you were shading this, I'm just going to erase some of this line. This is a kneaded eraser. It's not supposed to leave little curled up residue. Eraser residue. I just learned that recently. 
you know what? I kind of feel like we're at 15. I like little some beads out here on each four corners. Maybe a smaller one beside it. Cute. So it's in all these random moments that my life is built. <laughs> 